Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about um, the text features uh, found in nonfiction books and the various types of nonfiction books for your learning comments today in the library. So, we're going to talk about first the various types of nonfiction books. There's lots of different types. We have um, graphic novels um, that are nonfiction, like this is a book about Gettysburg but it's also um, a nonfiction book, but it's also a graphic novel. Then you also could have a book that is just pictures, like this book. This is all just pictures about um, beautiful dogs, and so it's called a photo essay. Okay, this is a uh, narrative uh, nonfiction book, which means that it tells a true story. This tells the true story of Winnie the Pooh. This tells the true story of a dog named Nubs. So if you look at the text uh, feature poster, um, Alan, could you stand back just a little bit for us so we can see, all can see, thank you. Okay, so if you look at the text feature poster, you're going to see um, all the various types of text features that are found in nonfiction books. Um, now, this is something that you learned in second grade. So do y'all remember, for the most part, what these text features are? This poster is here to help you review as you're working on the assignment. Then you also have um, concept books. A concept book is usually for younger kids and it talks about just one topic. This talks about, explains one topic. The title is Shape by Shape. Can anybody tell me what the topic is? What's the topic? Or what's the concept, I should say? Yes. It's about shapes. That's right, it's shapes. And then here's another concept book that you might like. It's called Fraction Fun. What's the concept being uh, talked about there, do you think? Uh, Angels? Fractions, okay. Okay, so um, the directions for today are up here. We'll go over those in just a moment. But first I wanna talk about some more nonfiction books. Um, we have um, hybrids. Hybrids have more than one type. So, One Tiny Turtle is a picture book, but it's also a nonfiction book. You wouldn't want to be Cleopatra is a nonfiction book, but it's also a graphic novel. And then we also have just an expository nonfiction book that explains a topic, okay? So, those are your different types of nonfiction books. Now, for your directions, um, you are going to look at the books here on the cart. You're going to get either a book from the cart or a magazine, and you are going to um, read it over. And the second thing it says in your journal, you are going to, um, if somebody can open their journal to the sheet that Miss Bell gave you, that would be great if we could show that. And you are going to, in your journal, list the text features. Okay, so you're going to open the book, look at the book, and right away in the back I see a text feature. What am I looking at? What text feature is this? Index. It's the index, okay? And then what text feature do you see here? Glossary. Glossary. So you're going to write that down. Did anyone find the sheet that Miss Bell sent down? It's in your journal. Can somebody turn to that in their journal? Does anybody have that? Okay, great. Okay, so, it bless you. So, if you will come over here, we're gonna show this on our camera. So, this is the sheet that you're gonna uh, fill out and it shows, number one, that you are going to write the title and the author. Number two, you're going to list out the graphic features that you found, text features. Number three, you're, you're going to write down what you learn in the, uh, the book about the, from the graphic features, the text features. And then the number four question is the most important one that I've talked about with your teachers. And that is why did the author include the graphic features um, in the article or in the book? How does it help the reader, okay? So, thank you so much for sharing that. So that is what you're gonna be doing. When you are finished on It's Learning, I have an area where you can make a Flipgrid video and talk about what you learned in the learning commons. So that's pretty much it for today.